Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Good evening. My name's Steve Gore, and I'm indeed the happiest magician on the planet. Well, Google says it, so it must be true. Now, I'd like you to meet a special friend of mine. This is Harry the Rabbit. Everyone say hi to Harry. Hi. Now, he's called Harry because he's covered in... Not hair, fur. <laughs> but Harry loves to play outside. But every time Harry plays outside, he comes back very dirty. So you could call him Dirty Harry. <laughs> yeah. But his mum will always make himself wash before tea, and then he's lovely and clean again. But straight after tea, he plays outside again, and he's very dirty. Nobody knows how this works. <laughs> I'm turning it round. Do you want me to turn the card around for you? Yes. Like this. Is this what you meant? The other way, you mean this way, don't you? No. Oh, turn it around like this. Yes. But that's just the back of Harry. Yes. Now, if you want to see the front of Harry, I have no idea where that's gone at all. <laughs> Give yourselves a big clap. Now, I need a volunteer to help. Uh, a young child, a young child. Uh, would you like to help, young man? Round of applause for this young man. Which, which way is it going? Shall I give you a hand up? <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Caden. Caden. Caden, nice to meet you, Caden. Step on this side for me. Uh, and how old are you, Caden? Eight. Eight. Did you know I was eight when I was your age? <laughs> you sure you're not older than eight? Yeah, it's your second to see your grey hair. <laughs> Do you get it? A, a grey hair. A hair's a kind of rabbit. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so, I have a, a picture on this card, which I'm going to show around to everybody, but not to Caden, okay? It's a secret. Shh. It's a surprise. You mustn't say what's on this card or it will spoil it, okay? So, have a little look. Shh. Don't listen to random animals being shouted out. Now, now Caden's going to choose one of these cards. And if it matches the one in the frame, he wins a balloon model. OK? I'll come around here, Caden. OK. So I'll thumb down the cards like this. You shout stop, and that will choose one of the cards. Are you ready? Stop. <laughs> You'll have to be a little bit faster. Just a touch. Are you ready? Go. Stop. I haven't started yet. <laughs> here we go. Stop. Happy there? Yep. Now, I wonder which card he's going to take. <laughs> you take the card in the middle, away he stopped. Don't say what it is. Just have a little peep. Don't let anybody else see. So I'll ask you some questions to see whether your picture will match the one in the frame. So does your picture fly? Yes. So it must have wings. Has it got wings? Yes. Yeah. Has it got a bit of yellow on it? Yes. And a bit of red? Yes. I think we're on to a winner. And finally, does it lay eggs? No. <laughs> eggs, you know. Turn it around and show everybody the chick, chick, chick aeroplane. But that means if he doesn't match the one in the frame, he doesn't win his balloon. Aww. You don't want a balloon. <laughs> well, maybe you could put it on eBay or something. Uh, so you hold on to your card. Uh, well, fine. just get the magic wand. If you can uh, take the magic wand, and if you can wave it over the frame and give it a... <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, should we try it one more time? There we go. If you take the magic wand. <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry. Don't worry. Have a look in the spare magic wand bag. Just check inside there. Oh, I was sure I packed my spare wand when I left. I think I can see it. I think we're in luck. It's a bit small. Let me find it. It's right in the bottom corner of the bag. You probably didn't see it. Yeah, I found it. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. It, it's, it's very small. You, you probably didn't see it in the bottom corner of the bag. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Is this wand OK, or would you like a smaller one? OK. So if you, you try not to kill me, please. <laughs> and if you can wave it over the frame and give it two taps, OK? A hot tap and a cold tap. <laughs> oh, this one. Tap it twice. Excellent. And say the magic word. That's a good one. And does it match? 
Yay! If you sit down, Caden, I'll make you a balloon. Thank you very much. Round of applause for Caden. Here we go. Now, just do a quick balloon model. Uh, now, some people do balloon sculpting. Just bear with me a second. Ooh, there we go. Some people do balloon sculpting. I do bl balloon... <laughs> I don't know how it gets stuck on that finger sometimes. Could you just hold that balloon for me? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As I said, some people do balloon sculpting. I do balloon modeling. Do you know the difference? No? I'll show you. This is balloon modeling. Thank you. Are you ready, Ken? The first balloon model. A snake. <laughs> no? OK. Gets better. A worm? No? How about this one? My William Tell bow and arrow set. Can you see the invisible string? It's invisible. Look. Here we go. There you go. Round of applause for Caden. Thank you. Ooh, hey. Now, I've been trying to think of something magical that I could draw, but I'm not very good at drawing. Uh, can anybody think of something magical? A unicorn, that's very hard to draw. Uh, something a bit simpler. What would uh, a magician have or wear? A hat. Good one. A magic hat. I see. Uh, I know. Uh, a magic hat is a bit like that. What's that? A, is that a crown? Oh, I know. I know. I've seen a magician wearing one of these. There. What, what, what's that one? A baseball cap. But Dynamo, he's a magician. He wears one of these. No? I know. A magic hat's like a top hat, isn't it? Like uh, Abraham Lincoln kind of old-fashioned black thing. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so if it was on a table, and it was black, it'd look a little bit like that, wouldn't it? A little bit. But I don't think this is a, I don't think this is a real magic hat. What? 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 What's there? Is it there now? It's not. There's nothing there. Is there something there? No, there's nothing. No. Nothing there. Ha, ha, ah! It's my friend Harry the Rabbit. He's come back. Everyone say hi to Harry. Everyone say bye to Harry. Bye, Harry. Now, I brought a special uh, friend along. Would you like to meet him? Now, he's quite shy. Okay, let me have a look. See if he's awake. Here he is. This is my friend, Patch. Everyone say hi, Patch. What's that, Patch? I want to say uh, uh, hello to everybody. That's nice. You want to give them a, a greeting? A Yorkshire greeting or a Geordie greeting? One of each. Should we say, why aye? And the Yorkshire one, a up. Okay. A up. There we go. Now, I haven't seen it yet, but Patch claims he can blow up a balloon. Do we believe him? Yeah. Off you go, boy. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Oh, you dropped it. I'll have another go. Have another go. Ready? Go. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I mean, it's very easy to blow up a balloon, isn't it? Anybody can do it. <laughs> Actually, 
It's a lot harder than you think. <sighs> Should we let Patch have one more turn? Do you think you can all say abracadabra after three? That might help him. After three, one, two, three. <laughs> what? Patch, no, come down, boy, come down. <laughs> it's a silly little dog, isn't it? No, come down, boy. What are you going to do with the balloon now? He says he's going to make it disappear. When? <laughs> On the count of three. One, two, three, and it's gone. It's amazing. Thank you. I don't know. How did he do that? Patch, what's in your mouth? Please show me what's in your mouth. I don't know why. I keep telling him about this little red ball. I have no idea why, why he does it. So, are we all having a good time? <laughs> Happy? There we go. So, <laughs> is it there? Is that it? There's no more. He says there's definitely no more. <laughs> is it there again? Give, give, give me the ball, please. Please. There's two. Wait a minute. Is that it? Is that it? You're really, really sure? He says there's no more. No more. <sighs> Have you quite finished? Okay. It's time for Patch to go to by bed. Everyone say bye, Patch. Bye-bye, Patch. Now, sadly, it's time for the end of the first half. Oh. But the good news is there's some more magic in the second half. Yeah. Hey. Uh, so I'll end with something a little bit special. Uh, and I need somebody to help me from the audience. Um, would you like to help? I don't need you just yet, okay? So when I, do, when I go like that, that's your cue to come and help me, okay? So if we can cue the music, please. That's all for me, Steve Gore. Thank you and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's hear it one more time for Steve Gore.